Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers. Today is finally the day we're gonna take out one of the Chosen themselves. The Assassin is gonna die today or otherwise I think six ladies are gonna die today. But I hope not because this is my ace team. So uh, on this mission we're taking out Elena, Heidi, Kelly, Sarah, Lena and Alessia. Pretty much our ace team, and uh, here we go. Operation War Song is a go. Time for us to finally take the fight to the Chosen themselves. Intel on this facility is almost non-existent. In fact, you may be the first human beings to step foot inside these walls. This may not be the most ideal situation, but it could be our only chance to take one of these things out. Good luck, and be careful. Thank you, Bradford. We're gonna need it, because I have no idea what we're stepping into, because this is completely new for me, as you already know. But uh, let's launch the mission. Uh, we drop in through a hole in the roof, what it seems like it's gonna be. Yeah, okay. definitely hole in the roof. Stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today, no matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Indeed. Take pride, XCOM. Pride that you have come further than any of your kind. Pride that your death this day honors the elders. Okay, the assassin. Um, I've chosen this team very specifically because, well, they're not only our best uh, Valkyries, we also have Elena who actually has the shadow ability. So if I use her to scout everything else, Moving as ordered. Uh, we should be able to move rather, well, encounter per encounter through this area. So we shouldn't be able to trigger uh, multiple encounters in one go. We shouldn't be surprised. Um, I think we should just go close enough uh, and maybe open up that door even. Let's do that as a start. Let's just open up the door. I want to just go in guns blazing. On commander difficulty, that's probably not a good idea, but... What the hell are these things? They're like... Red? Are those heavy mechs? They're supposed to be heavy mechs, I would assume, because they look a bit weird with Elena's filter. But yeah, those must be mechs. Let's go a little bit closer and I'll see you guys in a second. So that's our first turn. I've put uh, Heidi and Sarah on Overwatch. Just in case, although I didn't need to do that with Sarah, I think, because she has the ability that she goes into Overwatch automatically. I hope this place, XCOM. You have forced my hand. I can afford to give you no quarter. Uh, okay. F fair enough, I suppose. But let's open up this door with Elena. Elena. Let's open that up. Very big door. And we see absolutely nothing. There seems to be a dropship even in the middle of the room. Okay. There also seems to be... Oh no, there's another door in the back here. I'm just going to move across just to see if to anything spots us. Doesn't seem like it does. So moving on. Oh! Oh god. Hello! Um, we just got our first chrysalids. I think, I think it's dead. Yeah. Jesus, I think those were four of them. These chrysalids seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Let's take these things out. Uh, so I'm guessing Elena got spotted as well. We get seven damage on one of them. And that's a lot, a lot of chrysalids. And yeah. That's, oh, and those are, of course, oh, of course. Yeah, that was a nice, um, ooh, circumstance of events. How did they even spot me before they opened up that door? I had counseled the elders to show patience with your race, yet here you now stand. My brothers were correct. You are unworthy of existence. Okay, so... Priest and trooper in the back and three more chrysalids alive as well. That's not good, but one of the chrysalids is actually severely damaged. So if I can get Lena out of here... How far can she actually go? That's her range somewhat. 
Um, I could technically just rend one of these guys, but I think do... Wait a second. Don't uh, Chrysalis have something against melee? Doesn't really show me that right now, but um, 6 to 7 damage on that one Chrysalis would actually kill it. But that's not the best she can do, I would think. Although... Hmm, I would want to go from the other side. Can't I go to the other side? I mean, she can run around, right? Yeah, she can. Why, why can't we... Can I just... Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to move to the other side. With Lena. There we go. It's going to give me a better position. And then I can rent them... Yeah, from, from over here. That's, that's a better... I don't know why I can't select any other positions, but... Slash! That was even 8 damage. And it gives me an extra focus. So that's double focus. And then I'm just gonna parry the next uh, move. There we go, the next attack. Aha! Elena has not been spotted just yet. That is good, because that means that we can actually keep her available. Um, can I do a dead eye shot? That I shot could kill one of the chrysalids, chrysalids outright. And I'm actually gonna try that. So that I on that closest chrysalid. Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. And we killed it. Yeah. Okay. That I 12 damage. Okay. Okay. That means we have still three more people available to shoot at the chrysalid and the troopers. Now, if I can, I would use Heidi to actually flank these guys. Although, I will not be able to flank that trooper, I think. That's going to be annoying. Um, and the trooper is going to be able to flank me. So, let's try it the other way around then. If I can get closer enough with Heidi, she can actually just shotgun the chrysalid in the face. And that should give us high damage, right? And of course, she can't see it anymore now. Because of how line of sight works with something that hasn't technically taken cover. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do... Is put Heidi over here with run and gun. So run and gun. Into the next area. Hopefully that doesn't trigger anything. And then... 100% it probably won't kill it. But we might trigger a burn status effect. And the game just crashed i think oh wow i had a hard crash and it reset me even before i did anything here that means that the dead eye now can actually fail if it happens to fail so let's just do the same thing and it is already different because i didn't get a second focus from the chrysalid now so that means that possibly we might miss that dead eye shot and then we're in a whole world of trouble because if we don't hit this with 12 damage like we did before, we have two chrysalis to deal with and we miss. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, this game really is really, really unstable on console for some reason. Um, Heidi. I think we're going to have to go with the combined shot in a minute. So if I activate Kelly, So Heidi's shot right now on the chrysalis is 92, which is good. Kelly's shot is 88, so let's fire up that dual strike. Although, that's a bit early to do that right now. Let's just see what we can do otherwise. I'm just gonna move a few people back so I don't have to deal with the trooper and the priest just yet. So let's just go and put Sarah over there. She can actually fire at the closest chrysalid. That is a 100% shot, so there we go, 6 damage. Over Lena's shoulder. Then Elena I'm going to keep. Uh, Kelly is going to have to get closer. And then we shoot at that. Ooh, that's only 79 all of a sudden. That's weird, but... And that was a dodge. That was a dodge. So that means we only have... Yeah, I'm going to have to use the dual strike. Um, I know that's out in the open, but that's pretty much the only thing I really can do right now to guarantee a kill on that back chrysalid. Let's hope the game doesn't crash again. But 
so that's 100 percent don't want to do that but dual strike on the higher level oh no kelly can't see the other crystal it now okay okay then what i think i'm gonna do is use elena yeah the claymore so the claymore like this that's gonna blow open yeah, it's gonna blow open a few things, but claim more shrapnel over there. And I would just trigger it, which doesn't get us out of shadow. So let's just trigger the claymore. Blammo! And that kills one of the chrysalids and guarantees me a kill with um Heidi. I could I'm gonna get implacable. I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to move. Uh, Lena is now out in the open. That chrysalid was just is now a wall decoration. Um, but let's move uh, Heidi to the back here. Although I could put her in wide out in the open as well because she's basically immortal right now. Okay, so priest and trooper still coming in. They have stasis. Okay. That's just taking out one of my Valkyries permanently, so she can now not do anything for the next turn. And then the trooper comes in, going into half cover, and Lena can parry that. That's not a problem. I can't avoid their attacks. It's getting longer. dangerous. The elders could have destroyed your race with but a single command, yet they rebuilt your world, offered you hope. Your actions this day are an affront to their generosity. Okay, so now, uh, I think I'm gonna go for a running gun up, with Heidi. Let's put her right next to the trooper and see how high the damage can go over here. No need to ask twice. Although he is in the worst position. So I might be able to try that with somebody else in a second. Uh, Lena can definitely do another sword strike. And, oh, Alessia still has a shot. 68 on the trooper. Well, might as well try that out. Come on, girl. There we go. That's a nice 9 damage. Okay, that makes it, things a little bit easier. Because that means, I think... Oh, no. Sarah has the... God damn it. Sarah has the, uh, the combat protocol. And Kelly doesn't, I think. Or does she? We'll see. I'll get her a bit closer. No, only here wire protocol. Um, she does have a 51% shot on the trooper. I'm gonna take it. Because if that hits... Yeah, okay, there we go. That's good. That's good. Uh, Heidi now, by the way, is, well, is, uh, has lost her cover, but we do get an advanced repeater. There we go. I'm sure the docs will wanna see this. Ah, no, she didn't lose her cover. That's good. That is good. So now Heidi can actually just fire at the elite priest. Um, who else do we have here? So yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to have to use my shotgun on the elite priest. There we go. We got a critical and burning. And I think 14 damage will be enough to now... Oh, I got a free action. Huh. I'm just going to kill him then. Um... Yeah, let's... You know what? No. Lena. You can random. Yeah, random. He's not going to be dead. He's going to go into stasis. There we go. So, random damage increased. We got one focus, but he goes into stasis. Into sustain. So, I can't really do anything. But I can parry. Uh, and I can put... I'm just going to check the area out with uh, Elena over here. There is another door over there, so the area probably moves further in that direction. Uh, maybe reload. And then... I still have a run and gun action, but I'm just gonna reload. It's technically run and gun still works, that's actually interesting. Um, and that's basically it, okay. So Sarah Klein is no longer in stasis. And yeah, now the... The priest is awake, but the priest is burning. Does that trigger now first? No. The stasis saved him from the the burning as well. So that's a pen another parry. Look at that. I'm under fire. That really saved our ass a few times already. To trust the elders. To 
believe for an instant that they fight for more than just a single world. That humanity is not the center of this universe, but just a small part of a greater whole. Uh, I'm not going to wait for uh, all the blabber blabbering of the assassin to uh, just keep killing. So Lena is now up to full focus, I think. No? Didn't she get another one for... Oh. Interesting. Um, so I think we have two ways now. We can just move through the hangar, although... Oh. That ends over here, so it's moving out in this direction to the... Well, north from my point of view. Yeah, there's a few rooms around here that I... Because this is also the end. This area isn't really that big. That's pretty good, I would think, because we already killed six enemies. Um, let's parry with Lena. And then we can move um, Elena over here to the door. I'm going to put her over here right next That's to the door. Because now we can open that up and see if there's anybody right next to the door. No, nothing. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. Oh no, wait, wait. There's definitely somebody here. There's a trooper over there. For some reason, I can see him. I'm gonna have to move Alessia up, but I'm gonna do it in two turns, because she needs to reload. And I guess I'll see you guys in a second. Ah, oh, and I'm an idiot. Okay, I moved them too close. Okay. So that's a bunch of them. And Heidi is now... Not in a good position. Um, I'm gonna move her back. Just in case they want to try and get closer. Yeah, I'm just gonna move her all the way back over here. I don't want to risk it. So there's four guys over there. Uh, I am gonna put some overwatches over here. For some reason this side of the, the door is now gone. So I'm supposing we can shoot through that. Sarah can go over here. So put everybody on overwatch. I'm gonna have to see what happens. Because they're trying to get closer, but I think most of them don't even know where we... Oh god, Alessia! Ah, Alessia is out in the open. Crap. That's not good. I think the shield bear is too far away, so he's just gonna provide armor. Okay. I'm really missing my claymore now. The greatest mind struggle to grasp mere slivers of the Elder's knowledge. By now. But, I think we have a few options here. So Lena is indeed in full, on full focus. That's really good. Because that means that Volt and the likes will do a lot of damage. But I don't want to risk doing anything that will uh, jeopardize their position. But, if we put a Lena over here, we might have a better view on those guys. Okay. Can I explode anything? Oh wow, what the hell am I exploding there? That seems to be covering the entire area. Uh, and that... I can't see how far that goes out. I don't think it goes out far enough. I do get a... A flank shot on that trooper. There's a lot of explosives in this area. So Alessia is hurt, but... I can get a little bit closer. And toss a grenade over to these two guys if i can angle it correctly maybe i can even take out Ooh, i need one more square to the right so i'm gonna start using my bones because uh, a few people don't really have a good shot or action so i'm gonna use sarah to get a little bit closer i think this should be enough she's in bad cover i totally realize that she's in bad cover but now she can actually throw a plasma grenade onto the shield bearer in the back. That shield bearer causes the shields that everybody's using right now. So if I can take that out. So there goes a grenade. That's probably going to do only one or two damage. But it's going to remove... Ooh, actually three damage. But of course with the shields that only does one damage on his health bar. That's fine. But now... With Elena in the back, she might actually be able to. Ah, oh, she won't have enough firepower. Okay. Gonna have to be careful now. So, what's... 
Lena's rent power at the moment. Can I actually reach? I can reach the shield bear. I think I'm gonna do that. So let's rent. The shield bear uh, has eight uh, health left. So if I do that, everybody's gonna lose their shields. Good. That's really good. I just rent. This world is ours. She's even going through the dropship. I didn't even know that was a possibility, but there we go. And slash. Nine damage. Rent damage increased. That drops the shields on all of those guys. That's nine points extra, so to speak. Now I still have momentum. But, but, I think if I use Elena's uh, bond made teamwork action, I can use Lena again. And Lena has another surprise waiting for uh, the remainder of those troopers. Because now she still has her full swath of abilities available. Um, hmm... It is blue, so technically I can even do two actions. But let's wait. Um, Alessia also has a grenade. I can't reach the Lancer. But I can... Give another bond action to Sarah. I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to use a grenade. Because grenade can hit both of them. And they lose their cover... So I can hit uh, the other guys from there. So let's just do that. And whack them in the face with it. So that takes away their cover and reduces their armor. Removes that one armor on the trooper. Or if that is that even a Lancer? Could be a Lancer as well. Um, then. Then, then, then. We're not done yet. We still have Heidi, by the way. So Heidi can definitely finish this off if she wants to. But. Lena. Show me what you can do. That vault, that vault is always really cool. And I feel like it can hit all of them. I could use it to kill one of them, but the Lancer has... That's nine health. I think with the shotgun, I can probably take out the Lancer. So I'm going to try and kill either the Heavy Lancer. I'm going to go for the guaranteed one. So the Advanced Trooper with four. Let's hope this starts jumping to nearby enemy units. Here we go. A lasting strike. Flammo. Ooh, yes, it jumped around. It jumped around. So a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage, but that's that's okay. Um, what else do we have left? So now we have Kelly and Heidi left. Heidi can sword swipe the closest lancer. And Kelly, I think I'm gonna have to use Kelly to just take out the final lancer. Uh, so let's put Kelly over here. Because if I can guarantee kills, then I don't need to heal just yet. So, ooh, that's only 75. That is way too risky. What is her... Oh, she can give another... Yeah, okay, never mind. She can give another uh, action to Heidi. So Heidi goes with the sword slash. Five to seven. You know what? I'm going to slash the heavy lancer over here. Like, god damn it. Like, on the sides. Thank you. There we go. So that takes out that Lancer. A good boy. And then, I get implacable, but if I use Kelly's bond mate action, the advanced teamwork. There we go. Those extra bond mate actions are really, really helpful. And now, goodbye. There he goes. There he goes. So that's four more enemies, but we really need to start healing uh, Alessia. So I'm going to take a turn to uh, heal up and reload. So one turn further, I've uh, reloaded and healed up uh, everybody. So let's just take a look at this door. Because I feel like this is an area we haven't checked out just yet. No view, I think. Yeah, but this is definitely the way to go. This seems to be opening up further and... Oh no, that's also the end. And where the hell is the assassin? Maybe in this area then. There's another door. Oh no, there's no door. So that's probably the area that we need to go to. Okay. Uh, continuing setup. We, s we do not seek to kill and destroy. Lady, your name is literally the assassin. Or your title or whatever. It's literally talking about you killing things. 
It's celebrating that. No, let's uh, use Elena because I feel like we're going to start spotting things. Um, let's put... Is this all high cover maybe? Because I feel like I can't really see far ahead there. So Elena goes over there and she looks into that room. Nothing just yet. I'm going to put her a little bit closer as well. Because I feel like sight lines are really limited in this. Oh yeah, definitely Energy this. signature directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device Understood. of some kind. Looks like we found our way out of here. Well, out of here, but not... Uh, where would it transport us to? That's not something we want to use, right? Um, let's just put Alessia over here in the back. So let's prep. Uh, Kelly is still a ways off, so I'm going to have to put her where Heidi is now. Uh, Heidi always needs to be as close as possible, so let's put her yeah. over there. Then Sarah, Sarah can go over here. Lena also as close as possible, but I'm gonna use Overwatch shots. So aside from Kelly, uh, everybody's gonna go on Overwatch. So let's put her over there. And then everybody else, I think I called everybody else, right? Yeah, everybody else is ready to go. And Sarah, of course, I could have moved even further because she goes onto Overwatch automatically. There we go. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's all of that. Um, we get some few free shots. Uh, free missed shots, but at least we're going to do a little bit of damage. That's a lot of armor, though. That is a lot of armor. That's the first time we see one of those. Yep. Okay, I think we might be able to hack one of the mechs. Oh, we missed the shotgun blast. That's bad. That's really bad. I love the, the purifier in action there. Then Saros has a better aim though. But it doesn't matter. That the, How the fuck do you miss that? Okay. I offer peace, Exxon. Not for you. Your lives are forfeit. But for your children's children. Surrender and they may yet live. This entire universe will survive. Okay, where do we still have grenades? Lena has a grenade. But, uh, yeah, this thing, what's it called again? I keep forgetting what's it called. That is a Andromedon. That was it. That was it. Um, let's see. Can we actually explode things? Uh, we can, but it won't help us. Not even a little bit. And I can't explode the purifier. Okay. So that means I'm going to put her over here. Because remember, her shots actually do shredding, right? Position. If I recall correctly, I did put that on there, right? Yeah, attacks shred armor and two armor piercings. So definitely, definitely going to be able to do something with that. So 87% chance shot on the Andromedon. Uh, I could also just go for the shield bear. Because he's going to enable... Although he's not hes not a threat. Because he's going to enable shields next turn. So that's not a problem. Let's just have the Andromedon. How the hell do you miss an 87% shot and then... Oh, she's not revealed though. That's at least something. Now. Okay. We don't have a lot of shredding. This is a problem. Because the only grenade we have left is... Lena's grenade. Lena's grenade. Can we do something with that? Um, we could. But I'm not going to be able to take out the Andromedon and the shield bear there. Then I think I'm going to have to go for Andromedon fully. Oh, this is bad. You know what? Let's try something even riskier first. Who of our soldiers, who of Kelly or um, Sarah has the highest hack stat? Hack 80 and hack 70. So Sarah has the higher hack stat. Um, she's in a pretty good position, but she can't see. Can she see the mech in the back? No, because I don't have the, the option to actually use the... Uh, the haywire protocol. Um, gonna have to see with sightlines here because it's gonna be a, a bit weird. Gonna be a bit weird, but if I put Sarah over here, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. 
It's not that big of a problem, but I think I see something extra now. Yeah, the mech. Haywire Protocol, let's see what the chances are. Because if he can get that mech, that's going to allow us to have some more explosive attacks, if I'm uh, not mistaken. 47% to take temporary control. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to do it. And it's basically the one thing that I really need to do now. So 50-50. I want to close my eyes, but yeah, we got it. We got it. Wow, that's 100%. There we go, take temporary control of this unit. So that's doubly good, because we can use it to attack, and they're going to prioritize it over everything else. So that's good. I don't know if I get another shot with Sarah. I don't know what the game is doing. It's probably just changing the status of the mech right now to... There we go, hacked. I don't know why it's red, because that's just good for us. Now, mech, 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 can I... Oh, I can't use the mech just yet. Okay. And it's just going to have to be an extra target. Good, 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 good. Uh, not, not that good, but it's something. So I'm going to put Heidi in a really stupid position. And that's over there. That is a really stupid position, I know it is. But... The dual strike. I can do the dual strike on the Andromedon. But that also means I need to put Kelly in a bit of a better position. Because Kelly, her aim is probably going to be dependent on what she does next. So there we go, let's put it over there. Now, if I have any ways of removing armor, I should use it now. So let's use Lena's. Even though she does a hell of a lot of damage otherwise. I'm going to do the grenade. Maybe do the stun, stun strike after that if we still can. But uh, otherwise, let's just remove the Andromedon's cover completely like uh, this there we go and that shreds two armor because there's plasma grenades right now so that's really really good uh, now I still have a ooh, I have a 100% shot on the Andromedal right now good now Heidi 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 do the dual strike on the Andromedal because I want to kill that thing definitely there we go that's a critical, that's 10 damage, that's really good. And then Kali shot. Ability point for that. And another critical. Is that a kill? It is. But it's waking up again, of course, because that's how Andromedons work. Well, it's waking up again. That's what I was hoping for. Now it doesn't have... Ooh. Can I actually... I can do that eye on the Andromedon shell now. Or, yeah, the other shots are worse. Can I actually kill the uh, the purifier in the back there? No, that's only 60%. Okay, then I'm going to do another Deadeye shot on the Andromedon shell. Here we go, 77. Please hit this time, Alessia. There we go. Good girl. She even killed it in one go. 18 damage with a single shotgun, uh, sniper rifle hit. And then only the only thing we have left is Kelly. Uh, and I think that's not that bad. Because the shield bearer is going to do his fancy magic trick. And the purifier is going to try and do something else. But uh, let's fire at that thing. Just in case. And we miss. But at least he uh, he's shitting in his pants right now. There we go. The mech is hacked. And the purifier moves. Yeah, he couldn't leave that alone. That's a double flamethrower. I'm assuming that's going to... I think Heidi is actually burning. There's a shield bear, yeah, he's gonna do his fancy magic trick. There we go. But, but, I think Elena now has the option to blow up that thing that the shield bear is hiding next to. Because that's, by the way, an advanced shield bear. That fire didn't do much, did it? Uh, let's see. Ah, she's still... Oh, she's still in concealment. Well then. Um... Remote start on that thing. Does not reveal the Reaper and it takes down a whole chunk of this area. So there we go. Blammo! And that shreds one armor. It's not the best thing, but it's something. Oh, I can't. Why can't I see the other guy? That's annoying. Now. If I can take out the shield bear, since he now has no no cover whatsoever, 
We should be able to take him out rather easily. So let's just fire away at the wide open shield bear. There we go. And he takes a critical shot, so that's seven damage. Um, well, not really, not really deflection, but uh, you know what? Let's let's finish this in style. Let's slash. Yeah, let's slash that. Oh, slash, slash, slash the shield bear, getting Heidi pretty close to where we need to be. There we go, running, 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 and slash. There he goes. There he goes, and we get more psionic energy. And now, now I really want to try that out. Come on, Lena. How are your chances right now with the stun strike, for example? The, the stun strike, 75%. Is that always 75%? Because I don't know how your abilities actually work, but let's just try that out. So stun strike on the adva advanced purifier. A blamo. Boom! Oh wow, he's on his ass. He's on his ass, he's disoriented. He didn't take any damage though. Can I? Wait, what? What the hell is happening now? Can I actually do something now? Oh, I can put it on Overwatch. Interesting. But, uh, ooh, that purifier. Yeah, he has seen better days. 50% critical. Why not, eh? Alessia goes for the kill. And no explosion from the purifier. That's sad. Uh, and then we have this, you know, this this Mac. He's he's happy to be here, but he's he's basically on our team. I thought we were here to kill the assassin. I can actually move. Can I move the Mac with me? <laughs> that would be stupid. Uh, let's move over here then. There we go. That's the mech in the Ascension Gate. Uh, we can move Heidi in there as well already, so that's good. And then let's start moving everybody in. So, final soldier in the area. And we can activate the Ascension Gate. I don't know what that's going to be, but uh, everybody still has actions. And I'm wondering if the mech is going to come with us. But, everybody's in. Let's activate the Ascension Gate. Only units on the Ascension Gate platform will proceed through the gates. Units left behind will return to the Avenger. I, I know, but everybody's on, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well done, Menace One Five. That's everybody, right? See you on the other side. 